So I'm making this video because of an error that has occurred. Um, this is in between the test um, that I'm showing in one of the other, the second video of my GitLab series. Uh, and you see right here, this says shared runners, right? That means that the runner that we registered isn't working for some reason, right? Now, let me go and show you what I have found. Uh, I'm not gonna use this anymore right now, but I will be using this GitLab. That's a good one. It's okay, so I'm gonna use another git bash here. Anyway, this GitLab uh, GitLab runner is still in our path, right? Uh, I wanna show you this debug real fast and show you that, actually I should show you the, the real error first. My bad. So the real error that we have and says, this new runner has not connected yet. So it's been made, but it's not connected to anything. Does that make any sense? Doesn't make any sense to me. It looks like it was registered. Okay. Now, let's say GitLab debug run. Okay, so it's, let's go. And then like failed to load config file, git users one drive desktop config.toml. So it's config.toml. It's nowhere to be found. Okay, let's, and it's looking at the desktop, so it's looking at wherever I launched this thing from. So this is not useful to run right here. All right. So what about this one? So this one is actually my program files, and you know how I installed it right here. I think what happened is it what this wasn't when I was doing my GitLab runner and I was doing everything. I didn't give permissions to create files, so therefore the config.toml file was never created. Yet look at this: config file equals program files GitLab runner config.toml. Where is this Tamil? I mean, I don't see it. And let me see, ls, or what, actually, I think it was la. Yeah, there's, no, there's, there's nothing in here. Okay, so, um, let's create the file, actually. Let's, let's just make one. I think it's advanced configuration is a good one. Um, well, I don't know what everything needs, uh, so I'm just gonna create another one by registering an another container. Not container, registering another runner. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing it here because this is my program files and it's probably it might not even create anything. But like I said before, when I launched this here on the desktop. It actually uh, said um, that it was looking for a config file right here. So I know that when I register, it will look right here. Or it will, it will make something right here. So here we go. I'm going to create that file by just registering another one. And I'm going to get, let's get our token again. Token. Then just using this for a config.toml file. I don't need anything else, and I want to use the docker. And I want to say python alp 3.7 alpine. Runner registered. Boom, and you just saw it show up. OK. Oh, well, that was odd. <clears throat> okay, so uh, it's actually looking, I think it looked for my Docker machine because I actually have uh, installed Docker on here now. Uh, there it is, right? Python 3.7 Alpine. <coughs> it's looking for uh, other stuff. I think this right here was the token. No, I have no idea. But it created everything. So I'm going to take this and okay so I just launched uh, my commander stuff uh, and this actually is being ran as administrator so to actually make files in here you want to run it as administrator so I'm going to say touch config dot toml right I think I'm going to also throw this in here, and I'm gonna start at. Oh, 
nope, not that. And I'm gonna edit here, put that in here. I think that is everything I need. Yeah. Let's uh, say GitLab runner and say debug run. Let's see what happens. So this runner is just started, feeding runners to channel. Build zero. So I think it's 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 running. Let's see what's going on. Well, this one's working, but this one's not. Huh. Well, that's okay. We can just remove this one. Yeah, I'll remove that one. So, <clears throat> I wonder if I, what happens if I cancel this real fast. And then let's see. So it looks like it's still working. Okay, cool. So, uh, lesson learned. <laughs> uh, if you're wanting to create a GitLab runner in your program files or any restricted thing, you're gonna need to also uh, generate that config.toml file. Uh, sorry for causing any headaches. All right, thanks for watching.